Hello wrestling fans, boxing fans, and everybody out there. How are you? It's ride time. Wrestling and boxing forever. Now, let's start with some boxing. Um, Jermail Charlo, the baby brother Charlo, is the undisputed champion at 154 after scoring a 10 round knockout over Brian Castaño. It was a competitive 10 rounds. Um, Brian Castaño, even though he lost, has nothing to be con has nothing to be ashamed of. That fight was was awesome. Uh, both guys bought it. Um, Charlo just happened to be the better guy that night. Um, it it wouldn't surprise me if they said something about a trilogy. Um, the older brother Charlo is now talking about m moving up to 168 so his brother can move to 160. We'll see what happens. Canelo Alvarez, as I said in my last video, lost to Dimitri, Demetrius Bibble. I hope I'm saying I'm, I hope I'm saying his name right. Um, but but now they're talking about not wanting to pay Bibble for the Canelo fight. Um, and the excuse that's going around is the fact of you know what's going on with Russia and and everything else that has nothing to do with the sport of boxing Demetrius Bivol um, Demetrius Bivol Demetrius he defeated Canelo he defeated Canelo he won he deserves to get paid win lose or draw whether you like the guy you like the fact that he won or lost, whatever, he deserves to get paid. And there's no excuse for withholding a man's money, a woman's money. I don't care if you're I don't care if you're a professional athlete or you're somebody that works a nine to five, eleven to seven, whatever. Pay the man. Pay the man for his work. Um, that's all I'm gonna say on that. Um Deontay Wilder is planning a comeback soon. Who his opponent is, I don't know. I just got the, I just overheard by a showbiz the adult, a guy that I'm a huge fan of. Shout out to him. Shout out to Bruce Bain and Heavyweight Boxing Today and Kurt Deville from Counterpunch Boxing and Rummy's Corner. So. Deontay Wilder is getting ready to come back soon. Um, Jarrell Big Baby Miller. He's getting ready for, I believe, they said July 25th would be the return of Big Baby Miller on Triller. Um, I just hope Big Baby Miller takes advantage of the chance that he has and um because if you remember he failed three drug tests in his lead up to his matchup with Anthony Joshua so I hope that um I hope he stays on a good path you know this time around um let's see what the man can do let's see what the man can do Um, now, so, oh, oh yeah, one more thing before I get into the wrestling part of this, um, Sergey Kovalov, former, former undisputed light heavyweight champion at 175, comes up to cruiserweight. He made his cruiserweight debut. Um, 
his first time appearance as a cruiserweight, and he he wins that fight. His first time out as, as a cruiserweight. And the WBC has come has plans for the WBC belt if if Tyson Fury retires and vacates the belt. They already have plans in motion for a tournament to decide decide the eliminators and the winners of those two eliminators will fight each other for, for the belt. Um I believe that's how it's going to go. But with the politics of boxing, who, who, who knows? And I'm not the only person who ever said the politics of boxing it could get in the way of certain, certain things. I'm not the only one. So, um... Let's move on. Let's get into some wrestling. Now, Asuka... Becomes number one contender for Bianca Belair's Women's Championship. Um, and let's see what else. N New Japan Pro Wrestling had a show in Washington, D.C. called Capital Punishment. Juice Robinson becomes the becomes the United States champion of New Japan Pro Wrestling at Capital Punishment after a fatal four-way that had John Moxley, Hiroshi Tanahashi, and I believe Will Ospreay was also in it. So it was it was a hell of a matchup. But Juice Robinson comes out on top. So Kudos to him. The NWA is getting ready for Power Trip 2. Um, this is the last power before they get to Oak Grove, Kentucky for Power Trip 2. Um, on Power Trip 2, Brian Myers, longtime friend and tag team championship partner of Matt Cordona, He's in the NWA now. His first matchup as part of the NWA. Mike Knox against Davey Boy Smith Jr. or AKA Harry Smith. Um, the junior heavyweight champion. Homicide will defend against Kobe Carino. Now, he's 3-0 and as a junior heavyweight champion. Homicide defeated Doug Williams, Austin Aries, and Rick Titus. So will he, will he be able to carry the momentum as the junior heavyweight champion into Oak Grove, Kentucky? And still maintain the championship. I believe he's been on a roll. He's been on a roll. And um, I believe he can. I believe he can. And June 11th is always ready. Always ready. Like I said in my last video, there was a couple of guys that were released by Impact Wrestling and All Elite Wrestling. Speaking of Impact Wrestling, they had they had the Under Siege. Their 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 pay per view called Under Siege, where the Briscoe brothers, Mark and Jay, win win their Impact Wrestling tag team titles. So, the, 
things are going kind of crazy right now in the sport of wrestling. I will be doing a follow-up video after Power Trip 2. And, um, we'll go from there. Um, I also like to point out, um, NWA USA. Um, great matchup between Kerry Morton, the son of Ricky Morton, Kerry Morton, and uh, Mike Bennett. Um, they bought it. It was a hell of a matchup. Both guys, A plus, A plus matchup. I love what they're doing with the junior heavyweight division. They're treating it like a big deal. It's they're treating it like a like a like a world heavyweight championship. They're talking about it. It's advertised. It's on television. People get to invest in the junior heavyweight competitors. And a lot of promotions they they don't do that. So kudos to the to the NWA for that. And I made a video about it. My first video on this channel was about the Junior Heavyweight Championship in the NWA. So people, check out that video. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And my words of positivity. Um, shout out to Going to Distance. He's a guy who always supported me. And my channel and always keep working sometimes things are gonna get hard and they're they're gonna look hopeless sometimes but don't give up don't give up on yourself your dreams and what you're trying to accomplish ride time wrestling and boxing forever I'm out